Fire in the hole, let's cook a chicken. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome once again to my backyard griddle. Grill, I say grill when I mean grill and I say grill, grill when I mean griddle. Anyway, what I got here is a chicken, a whole chicken. And uh, we're gonna marinate this thing in this stuff. I got this over at Pepper Palace. I saw this and I, I, I grabbed it. I didn't know it was in it and I didn't care. Italian salsa. This stuff is awesome. Let me tell you what's in this. You gotta hear what's in this. Tomatoes, tomato juice, salt, citric acid, black olives, green olives, lemon juice, garlic, salt, sugar, onions, jalapeno peppers, tomato paste, black pepper, spices. This is like bruschetta in a jar. And I'm gonna use this to marinate this chicken. And I'm gonna get it all over him. And I've also got, uh, I got my fingers up under the uh, meat, or the between the skin and the breast meat to get some of that in there. So I wanna, I wanna pack some of that uh, salsa up. It's got, you can see the olives in it, the green olives. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna put most of this on the chicken. I got some of it up in his breast there, you see. See that? Can you see that? I'm gonna put most of it on the chicken. Rub them down good with tomatoes. It's basically tomatoes. It's kind of like a bruschetta. Look at the olives. I want to get some inside the cavity. The chicken's cavity. I'm trying to save some to put on them after, uh, I don't know if I'm going to save any or not. But anyway, yeah, we're going to marinate him overnight. And then tomorrow, we're going to get him on the spit and roast him on the rotisserie. So I'm calling this Italian. Look at the olives in that, the green olives. I could just eat that right now. Yeah, I'm gonna put some more of that in there. <laughs> That's good stuff. Look at that. I gotta get a paper towel to dry my hands. I saved a little bit that I'm gonna uh, slather on him while he's cooking. But anyway, I'm gonna let him marinate in that overnight and uh, get some more of that in his cavity. I'll probably shove an onion up in his cavity, stabilize him. Yeah, let's let him go overnight in the fridge and tomorrow we'll come out and roast this puppy. So stay tuned. My well marinated chook, as they call him down in Aussie land, is on the spit, rotating slowly. Underneath him is a tray of potatoes with rosemary, thyme, garlic, and salt. The drippings from the chicken are going to further flavor those potatoes as he cooks. And uh, yeah. It's looking good already. Smells delicious, I'll tell you. Let me get a little bit of cook on him. I'll bring you back when I slather some more salsa on him. Any salsa that drips off is gonna go right into potatoes. So yeah, it's gonna be good. We're gonna have a nice meal today. Stay tuned. Ah, my smoke roasted chook is coming along nicely. I'm gonna drop a little bit of that salsa on him and let him baste himself in that stuff as he spins and if any of it falls off it's no big thing because it'll drop into the potatoes and make the potatoes taste good but we're just going to flavor him up a little bit more a little bit more of that salsa that's the rest of it that's all i got doesn't look too bad does it looks like something you might want to eat let me get this chicken cooked up we'll take a taste we'll have some potatoes i made some salad we're gonna have a nice dinner, so stay tuned. My Italian rotisserie chicken is done. I've got some of those potatoes on my plate. I've got some of that salad that I made, cucumbers, onions, and tomatoes, and I've got a beer. I've got my favorite beer, as a matter of fact. There's the Frosty Root Boy mug. Let's see if I don't botch the pour. Hop Slam Ale, ale brewed with honey. This is a seasonal ale. This has been in my refrigerator for a long time. So it might be skunked, but let's find out. Let's pour it out, see what happens. It might be good, it might be bad. It might be incredible. I think it will be. It's a beautiful, you know all about Hop Slam. It's a beautiful India Pale Ale. And uh, shut up, dog. It's got brewed with honey, it's got the hop slam, you know, it really slams you with hops. Let's quaff the froth of it. Rob, what do you think? Mm. 
Ah, perfect. Delicious. Wonderful. I can't say enough good things about my beer. Let me get a taste. I want to taste these potatoes. Make sure they're nice and tender. I think they are. They are. Mm, very good. My salad. You didn't think I ate salad, did you? But I do. I eat salad all the time. Mmm. Very good. And let me grab that wing off of there. Falling apart, tender. You knew it would be. And let me get a, some of that in my mouth. Oh. Mmm. That's delicious. Mmm. 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 Ah. Babies. If you ever get near a pepper palace and you uh, get some of that Italian salsa, it makes a great marinade. So, uh, yeah. That's my video, babies. Uh, like I said last week, I said we would drink a beer this week, and we did. Hopslam, very good beer. We cooked a chicken, made a salad and some potatoes. A delicious barbecue meal for you. There you go. Barbecue food for you. Who says that? Anyway, yeah, that's my video, babies. Join me again next week. We won't. We may, <laughs> we may not cook anything good, but we will drink a beer. Or, if we don't have any beer, we'll drink some coffee. Okay? Babies, go up in the iCard and check out my buddy Rob, the barbecue pit dog. I'm always talking about Rob, drinking beer with Rob. Go check out Rob, the barbecue pit dog in the iCard. Subscribe to me. Come back next week. Uh, give me a thumbs up. We'll see you next week, okay? Bye.